Good morning. We want to thank each of you for joining the New Hope Baptist Church Children's Ministry Worship Experience. We pray something will be said or done to inspire your child this week. Hello, friends, and welcome back. This week is week four of our series, Unbox. We are talking about gifts from God. Today, we're learning about gifts that are like treasures to us. The Bible talks about two kinds of treasures. One kind of treasure can break while the other lasts forever. But how do we sort them out? Well, first, let's play a game about sorting. Our first activity is sort and see treasures. Okay, what it is, we have the blue team, which is Miss Andrea, and the pink team, which is Miss Carolyn. And what they do, they're gonna take the lid off the treasure chest, get their, whatever their treasures are, and sort them. The one who sort all their treasures first is the winner. One, two, three, go. Sort all your treasures. They both have the same amount of treasures. This is dealing with the eye and them on their colors. activity. This activity is called seeing things and our friend professor is going to help us with this activity. What I have on the board and you can try this at home friends. You can have a bright yellow background and just cut out a green heart. In the middle of it put a black dot like the size of a dime. Then also you need either you can use a white wall or a white background and put another black dot on it. So this game, Professor's gonna stare at the black dot in the green heart for 20 seconds. Are you ready, Professor? Ready. Okay, go. Professor, what colors do you see on the the, the the heart with the yellow backdrop? Green and yellow. Yeah. Green okay. and yellow. Now, look at the whiteboard. Now, tell me what colors do you see? Red and blue. Great job. Thank you. So Professor see red and blue instead of the green and yellow that he originally saw. Isn't that, isn't the human eye amazing? Yeah. That part of the eye is called, called the retina, which absorbs light. And another part of your eye called combs reads colors. When you stare at a certain color, like yellow and green, the image stays on your retina for a little bit while the cones trigger other colors like blue and red. Try it at home, friends. See what colors do you see? The way we think and feel depends a lot on how we take in information. Right, Professor? That's right. That's and right. one of the ways we do that is through our eyes. Today, we'll explore how the way we see things affects our minds and our hearts. Thank you, Professor. Professor, I have a question for you. 
Mm -hmm. Have you ever lost or broke something that you treasured or really cared a lot about? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I lose stuff all the time. What did you break or lose that you really cared about? My favorite spectacles. Spectacle? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're talking about your favorite eyeglasses? Yes. How did it make you feel? Oh, I was so upset. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Professor. Couldn't see nothing. Couldn't see nothing. Oh, I see you got some new ones. Yeah, I got them. I got them. They look good on you, too, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Kate. Stuff fall apart or get lost all the time. Mm hmm and while these things we might care about a lot, mm -hmm. we're going to learn about some new things, some new things that we can uh, care about, All right. okay? All right. So today we're going to start and learn about our new big idea for today. Can you help me say it? Our big idea for today, we can care about what God cares about. Can you say that with me, Professor? We can care about what like God, God cares about. about. Okay, let's ask our friend Zachary some questions. All right. Come on, Zach. Do it, Zach. All right. I got your back, Zach. Hello, Zachary. Hi. We've been talking about different gifts from God, right? Yes. But do these gifts come in a box? No. Can you buy them in a store? No. Can you order them online? No. Then where do they come from? God. And God doesn't give us gifts you can buy, break, or lose. Break or lose. Hey, everyone. Wow, look at these boxes. What do you think is inside? We should check it out. Whoa, look at all this money. With all this money, I could buy cool new shoes. Or that video game I want. Or all the candy in the world. Do you think this other box is filled with more money? Let's see. Huh. This box is filled with kindness and love and wisdom. How strange. These boxes are nothing like each other. Money seems important, but it can't buy things like kindness or love. On the flip side, you can be really kind and not have a lot of money. If you had to choose one of these boxes, which box would you pick? I know, the gold is so tempting. But these boxes remind me of something Jesus said. Jesus said not to store up treasures here on earth. Jesus said what's inside this box won't last. This kind of stuff can be stolen by robbers, lost, or destroyed. In other words, this treasure is temporary. It won't last. Instead, Jesus told us to care about the things God cares about. Jesus said for us to make our treasure be heavenly things, Things that will last. Things like what are inside this box. Like how we treat others or spending time with God. When we focus about things Jesus cares about, we learn the things that matter most in life. We can make better choices and learn how to love our friends and family too. We can care about what God cares about. Great job, Zachary. God gives us gifts that last forever. God does this because God cares about you and me. God cares about your heart, your mind, and your soul. And if these things are what God cares about, we should care about them too. Our scripture for this week is found in Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 through 24. Basically, he's talking about treasures in heaven. Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 through 24. Do not store for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eyes are unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light within you is darkness, 
How great is that darkness? No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Great. What does God want us to care about? Some people see treasures as the greatest thing ever and makes them worry all the time. On the other hand, people who see God's love as the greatest thing ever makes them joyful and filled with peace. The Bible tells us that it's better to care about joy, peace, and love God gives us than material things in our lives. The Bible even says the eye is the lamp of the body. We rely on our eyes to help us with many things. Just like our eyes need light to see, we need Jesus to show us things God cares about. Let's ask some reflection questions to prove our friends. Isaiah, why do you think our heart is where our treasure is? Because we love each other. And that's the point. And Jesus also loves us. Awesome. Awesome answer. Eli, why do you think where our heart is, our treasure is? Because the treasure is where our heart is to loving everybody. Great answer. What can happen to treasures on earth? The moth and rust could destroy it. And the thieves could steal it. Where does Jesus say we should store our treasures? In heaven. What does it mean that the eye is the lamp of the body? If you keep your eyes on God, you'll be a good person. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on the Treasures, 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 treasures. Treasures, 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 treasures. Where mobs and burn and destroy. Where thieves break in and steal. Treasures, 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 treasures. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven for moths and bottom do not destroy and for thieves do not break in and steal. But where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The eye of the lamp of the body, if your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be head full of light. Treasures, 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 treasures. But if your eyes are unhealthy, your whole body be full of darkness. Even if the light within your darkness, how great is that darkness? No one can serve two masters. No one can serve. Mm -hmm. Two masters, treasures, 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 treasures. Either you will hate one and love the other. Either you will hate one and love the other. Treasures, 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 treasures. You cannot serve both God and money. You cannot serve both God and money. Now our second scripture for today is found in John the 8th chapter verse 12. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. The Bible says Jesus is the light we need to be guided safely. When we are following Jesus, we don't need to follow anyone else. Hey, boys and girls, I'm Mean Green. And I'm Joy. How are you doing today, Mean Green? Mm, you know how I'm doing. Trying to catch that money. Is money forever, Joy? Money, money, money. No, 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 of course not. Will my toys last forever, Joy? 
mean green. No, 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 of course not. Will my popularity, cause you know I got so much money. Will my popularity last forever, Joy? No, 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 of course not. These things are all in vain. But trust the Lord, then you gain. What do you think are some examples of heavenly treasures? Heavenly treasures are special gifts from preaching to dancing to teaching. But they must be focused on God in order to save lives. What do you think Jesus meant when he said he was the light of the world? Jesus had one mission, to say, to bring the light and to save us. Without that mission, we'd be in complete darkness. How can we be a light to the people around us in our everyday lives? We must study the word, know the word, and to live the world and treat people Christ-like. Thank you, Nayla. The Bible says God's word is like a lamp that shows us where to go when it's dark. Remember, friends, we need light to see what God cares about. And that light is Jesus. Jesus shows us how we can care about the thing God cares about. I'm going to pray, and then we'll have our final memory verse by our friend Luke. Would you bow your heads with me and pray? Dear God, Light our path so we can see the things you care about. Help us remember that you care about things that are forever. Thank you for loving us and caring about us so much that you gave us the Bible to light our path and show us the way to be to a happy life. Thank you, Lord, for loving us so much. Amen. Thank you, friends. Let's do our memory verse. Hi, everybody. I'm Luke. It's time for a memory verse. I'm excited. I'm so excited about the memory verse. It's found in 1 Peter 4 and 10. And it says, each of you should use whatever gift you have to serve others. As faithful stewards of God's grace, in various forms. Oh, I think that'd be cool in a song. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Let me try the memory verse in a song. So get ready, everybody. It's 1 Peter 4 and 10. 1 Peter 4 and 10, clap your hands. 1 Peter 4 and 10, now clap your hands. 1 Peter 4 and 10. Clap your hands again. First Peter 4 and 10. Clap your hands. First Peter 4 and 10. Clap your hands. First Peter 4 and 10. Clap your hands. First Peter 4 and 10. Clap your hands again. First Peter 4 and 10. Clap your hands. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. As faithful stewards of God's grace in various forms, First Peter 4 and 10, clap your hands. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. As faithful stewards of God's grace in various forms, First Peter 4 and 10, clap your hands. Yay! That was so much fun! That was so much fun. Adios. Adios. <clears throat> Be sure to join us each Sunday for an encouraging word where we're building faith and sharing love.